Hello everyone. Welcome to the seventh video on a beginner's guide on how to twin motion. So, in today's video, we're gonna go through pathing within twin motion. All right, let's do this. So, we're going to be heading to the dock area right here. Go to contacts, path. We have four options in front of us. Let's start with the vehicle path first. Click this tool right here. Here in the middle and let's go ahead and stop here by putting at this point now press right click to escape go back to this view and click the highlighted area from here you can change their lane count Let's try and change it into two lanes as well, since we have a two-lane road ahead of us. Decrease the lane count back to one. Okay, let's increase the offset. There. Lastly, the density. So, let's decrease this a little bit. Alright, that should be good for us. And speed, of course, easily understood. Let's try to let them move slowly. 30 should be good enough. Okay, next up, the character pathing. Go back to context, path, character path, this tool again, and let's use the pedestrian crossing lane right here. Click on the other hand, press right click. Okay, now let's play around it as well. Multi gives us different choices here, so play around as you will. I like my multi-category. Next up, the clothing. Choose what you want. I like my office. Next up is the width. But of course, width goes along with density so that they can fit more inside the highlighted area. Let's try one for example. There, as you see. Next up, the reverse. Easily understood and toggling off and on for either walk or standby. All right, so let's decrease the width back to one, density to 10%. Okay, next up is the bicycle path. So back to the dock area, context, pathing, and bicycle path. So they're actually the same thing. Click this tool right here. Let's add our bicycle in this area to the other point here. Okay. Let's click the highlighted zone. Now, there always there's an option for us. Same as the car pathing, gives us two lanes. Lane offset, the distance between it between the lanes. Lastly, the density. Oh, sorry, and the speed. Of course, this one is easily understood, the reverse. So let's make the density to nine and the speed like this should be enough. Okay, almost done. Next up, the custom tool. So again, back to the dock area, context, path, custom path. Now, this one is a little bit tricky. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's drop one here, this area, and let's control the motion here a bit like this. There. Now right click to escape. You see, there's a box moving in front of us. That's what makes custom tool unique. So click this one. Let's go to library. Actually, this empty spot right here allows us to put an object or an asset within it that allows it to move. So let's try a uh, chair for example if i were to put it put a chair there and replace the box you would see the chair move like so see now let's try using a cutout instead go back to the beginning characters cut out let's use this one let's drop it here and look how it changed into a cutout instead Hard to see since it's, well, it's a cutout, so 
let's try to rotate that cut out a bit all right never mind now it's showing so let's try the options first for loop simply understood it either loops from the start or if you go to loop ping pong it will go from one end to another and repeat the same process from end to the beginning so of course speed the movement speed of the object reverse easily understood delay is where it will start moving again once it reaches the end and rotation well see that this is the reason why we're using a cutout so as you see the cutout is moving due to the rotation that we're moving but let's decrease the speed and decrease the delay so we can see it clearly okay so let's try doing the rotation as you see that's what rotation does for us and next physics if i were to increase the height of this node here like so okay and i were to turn off physics you would see that the cutout follow the path instead of staying on the ground so that's what the physics does for us okay so now some may think that the custom tool is just a way to play around or to entertain ourselves but it's actually a helpful way to simulate movement for objects other than cars or characters let's say an elevator or a tram for example or i don't know if you've noticed have you seen that plane right here i actually did that before we started the video so you can see it lifting off in a loop at the background. That's not a background landscape. I used a custom path tool for that one just to show the use of a custom path tool. So let's go ahead and zoom to that one. Can I click it? No. So let's change our speed by pressing four. All right, there's the plane. See, there's the custom path tool right here. And if I were to click this, you would see how I changed the customization to make sure it follows the customization or rather how a plane takes off. So let's do that. Let's um, put it again from the start. Increase the speed. There we go. So press escape. All right. So as you see, that's an example of what the custom path tool can do. We can simulate a plane craft taking off. All right. Okay. So um, I guess that's it for this video. Let's go back here. So here's what the character pathing path or rather unit pathing path for twin motion does for us. Cool, isn't it? Okay, so um, that's it again. For questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find this tutorial helpful or even interesting, do support me by liking and subscribing and sharing to some of your friends. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much, guys.